What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That means it's Mac Daddy Tool Thursday. St. Patrick's Day. It's gonna be a good day. Let's see what he's got. Come on. Everybody thought you had quit being a Mac dealer no, or something. No, no. <laughs> You've been gone. I've been gone. We've just been busy. I know it. That's what I told them. It's hard to shoot a Mac video when I'm in Florida or yeah. California. Or... I've had a couple people text, man, I missed the videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to do when you ain't here. So. so When you're not here and I'm not here, it's kind of yep. hard to make it happen. Yeah. I guess I could mail you my camera and you could just shoot the videos <laughs> when I'm gone. <laughs> but Man, you got this thing full. Yeah, it. yeah. Some of the tool I show stuff starting to, starting to show up. See all the goodies back here. Got in a bunch of our new foam tray sets over there on the left. Yeah, those look nice. If, that don't, if that's not just pretty, I mean, you know. Yep. Looks really good. And I like how they're doing the, like a half inch drive set. And then they got the three inch drive set, three eighths drive set. Yeah. It comes with you different ratchets, extensions, old school universals. It's nice. So, I like the wrenches the best, I think. Yeah. You can look at it and know what you're missing. That's really nice. So they've well, done, done well with that line of stuff. How's life been treating you? Good, good. So, staying busy and trying to play catch up. Yep. That's a good looking box right there, that green and gray together. It is. Sharp looking box. That, what was that, a 72 inch? Uh, 64.27, I believe is what that one is. Yep. I like the way they do that top too in there, look at Mm-hmm. And then that's a new 7530 that I got in. With the well, power front and power tall, drawer. Look at the difference between the height of them two boxes. Yeah. From here to here. Yeah. And then the HD boxes, I have to pull this whole shelf out because it's so tall. Man, that's crazy. And it, it lacks about half like the thickness of the shelf. I like this whole drawer. Is that open? It can be. Look how big that drawer is. That's a monster right there, Jack. Man, you could lay down and take a nap on that thing. <laughs> you could. That's like a twin size, like a, what do you call the, it's a little bit smaller than a twin size. It's for like a little kid, you know? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like a bunk bed type mattress. Yeah. Man, you could put one of them in there and just, I'd be ready. And your shoulders wouldn't even hit. <laughs> That's a hoss of a box right there. And then for our wrench drawer too. Everybody likes that drawer for their wrench drawer. Mm -hmm. If you can't get your wrenches in there, you got a lot of wrenches. You got a lot of damn wrenches. For sure. That's a big old box right there. Get all the padding out of it so I can close her up. Yep, that's a hoss. And then these also have the power drawers on them. It ain't that many drawers in there, but they some big ones. You can plug all your cords in the back and then run them under that little tray. Mm -hmm. Just keep it all neat and organized. Very nice. Oh, that's the like a white look to it. What is that? It, it, it's, it's just the chrome, chrome but then that's silver. just the, the bevel of it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's almost the way it just reflects that mica gray. That's pretty cool. So that's a gray box instead mm -hmm. of white. Yeah. And that's just the plastic that's over the stainless on, on the top. Very nice. Keep it shiny. Well. And I've had some say that all oh, that box should have the rhino line top on it, you know, but just to tie the black into it some more. But mm -hmm. I personally like 
the stainless top over the rhino line top because you get oil and grease in that, it's hard to get it out versus just wiping it off that stainless. Yeah. Only but. thing with stainless, you know, Bill's box had stainless, the first box he had. Man, you could lay an ink pen on that and it would scratch. Really? Yeah, it showed every little mark. And we buffed that thing like three times. Hmm. You lay something on it and it just I've never scratches. noticed it with this, <clears throat> with ours. I don't know, it's a different type of stainless or? Um, that's what, when he ordered the second box, that's why he got the bed liner, just because it was always showed little scratches and marks every time you hey. set something on it. I know you like lights. I got in some new Mac lights that they've come out with. Kind of an oddball little light. Make sure I got the right one. That's a funny looking little feller, ain't it? It is. It's got, let me find a pop button on it again. It's got a light in the end. So it's like a flash, regular pocket flashlight. And then also has a bar light in it, low and high. But then it's got a magnet on the back. Like at the top of it there. A little bit of a magnet there. But then this is also a magnet. This whole pocket clip is a magnet. Well, look at that. But it's also... <laughs> Ain't that crazy? That is pretty cool. Yep. That's a pretty neat light right there. Because sometimes you just want it to stand up and mm -hmm. shine at it, you know? That is pretty cool. But Now, if you get it straight out out here, it might not be the strongest, you know, but... Right. I think it does better that way than hanging from the other direction. That is pretty thing. neat though. I like it because it's small enough to stick in your pocket too. Mm-hmm. Very cool. And then I guess that would be a hook on it. Yeah. To go in that way with it. But then it turns into a pocket clip. <laughs> so. That's like the transformer light right there. <laughs> yeah. That's what the, the Optimus Prime light. Well, that's pretty cool, man. But. And then Cyclops come out with a new one that a lot of people's not seen. It's the thousand lumen. one. Oh yeah, it's got the it's focusable. It's bigger with a focusable yep. head on it. I've seen one of those and man, it's almost like a, remember when you was a kid, you'd take a magnifying glass out in the sun and you could turn yeah. it. That's almost how you can focus that beam. I mean, it, it's bright and it's got a heck of a dang magnet on the bottom of it. Very cool, man. Those lights right there are still probably one of my favorite work lights. I bought one of those. Of course, it was the Snap-on brand. This right. This is the same damn light, you know. Right. It's four times as much money. Oh, Maybe people love them. Five times as much money. I mean, you're talking a $40 light yeah. that, I mean. That was, man, that light, I'm telling you, that's out of all the lights I've got. That's one of the oldest ones, and I still use it a lot because yeah. I enjoy I, that stuff. Uh, something real similar to those, what they've done come out with now, is they're doing their own under hood light with them. Oh, that, that's a good idea. So, so it's the bar, and then you buy the it's lights. The, to it's stick the on bar, it, and know. then you just magnet your lights to them. Very good. That's so, a good idea right there. He said, "Cause everybody's like, well, we need a, I need an under hood light, but I don't want to spend a lot. Well, mm -hmm. this is just an accessory you can get for the lights you already have. Yep. You could buy two of them forty dollar lights in that bar, and you'd have a yeah, a darn good. That you don't even have to use together. You can use pieces or parts. That's you know. It. And it don't even have to be the same two lights. You right. Any light that magnets yep. up there. So. Have you seen the new Astro 100 SL lights that's wireless charging? Um, are these the, the new new ones or the one that's been out for a little no, bit? No, these are brand spanking new. I don't guess so. They work with the wireless charging base like the 5.2 SLs has got. Yeah. I did a video on it. I dropped it from head height lift height you know six foot or better than six foot actually and i dropped it probably five times from there 
We put it on the toolbox or roll cart height and dropped it probably 15 times there. Sprayed it with brake cleaner, threw it down about 20 times to dry it off. Then I took it outside and threw it up in the air. 10, 12 foot, I threw it up 20 something foot and then I threw it at 30 something foot up in the air and it still works. Thousand lumens, you can dim it down to 100 lumens. Wireless charging. Does it's it come any, with the base and all with it? You can buy the kits, it's got the base, but Got like it's, they made it to go with the 5.2 SL, you know, so you'd have a two different light combo. Right, right. Dude, it's awesome. That's the toughest damn light. Like you could loan it to your kid to play football at night with and then <laughs> take it back to work the next morning. <laughs> that thing is tough as a freaking pine knot, Jack. And uh, it's a cool light. Hmm. Very cool I'll light. I'll have to look into those. I did a video on it. You have to watch the video. I, I mean, I treated this light like hell. Like. It was awful the way I treated that light. And it hadn't even been charged. Like the only time I put it on charge was just to plug it up to make sure it would work on video and I took it off and done all that craziness to us. I thought, man, I'm gonna break this thing before it even gets full charge. <laughs> but. It's definitely durable then. <clears throat> man, that thing's like Nancy Pelosi. You just can't, you can't get rid of it. <laughs> it's tough, you know. <laughs> it's, it's bad to the bone now. Something else new that I got in. Everybody likes the expert stuff. Yeah. Well, for the longest, all expert really had out was just like the old school with a pin in it, yeah. universal joint, mm -hmm. or the chrome ones. Well, I finally. Did they come out with a pinless? Got us some that are pinless. Oh, heck yeah. Get them back on here. Man, those are some cool rails right there, too. But it's, and it's not like the four-sided, like some of the expert mm -hmm. X-Core stuff. It's like a hex shape that's in it. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, they got some rotation to them, too. What is that going to, you think? Pretty close to 40, well, not completely 45, but. For a half inch, that's mm -hmm. pretty good. Really good. So, people are really liking them. It's about time that somebody comes out with a good, affordable set of pinless swivels. Yep. Because Gear Wrench has had those X cores for a while. And I beat the dog mess out of my X cores, and they've done good. Mm -hmm. I have to say, for the money, they've done really good, but they're so, they're wore out now. Like yeah. you put a socket on, they just, you know. But everybody's liking this new hex design in them, so we'll see how the long holds up with them but so far everybody's been pleased now you going to have to educate me what is that that is a piece from a creeper keeper oh a little tab that I fold over so you can lock it in I got you. the creeper keeper that you can hang on the end of your box I wasn't so. sure what that was it was sitting here like that and I was like hmm that must yeah. be some kind of crazy tool I ain't never seen before yeah it must have fell out of the creeper keeper box I have on here with a creeper keeper in it Whoops. <laughs> so, man. I still got some of the pinch off pliers left from yep. the last sale. You get the straights and. Straight ones, too. For like I four, 40 those bucks. When I come in up there. Yeah, they're hanging everywhere. You almost had a good sale on them for you to get that many of them in. Both sets for 40 bucks? Oh, yeah. That's, I mean. Might as well be free. Might as well. You get three straights, three angles for 40 bucks. That's a good deal all day long. Mm -hmm. Man, I missed you coming around. That habanero chipotle's been calling my name. Hmm, that stuff's warm. That stuff's good, boy. <laughs> I like it. Well, what other smoking deals y'all got? Y'all used to have some really good sales. Some of the flyers been hit and miss lately, but that the pinch off plier deal's been one of the best deals come in it lately. And then the new fly that's coming up, it's going to have another good deal in it. You always seem like y'all have one really killer flyer that like blows everything away and then everybody gets disappointed the rest of the year because none of them is good. But everybody forgets that that one flyer, almost everything in it's awesome. Yeah. That must be the, like the accountants put that together. Like we got to boost our numbers <laughs> so we all get our bonuses for this quarter. Oh. So. And then another one of the good deals that I've had lately is... The three-piece hammer set 
the three piece ball pit hammer set for like 138 bucks. Oh yeah, the antivibes for that? the three piece antivibe, yeah. and it's just the big ball pin antivibes too. Cool. And then right now they got the uh, it's like the four pound sledge, the blacksmith hammer, and maybe what is it, the drilling hammer or something with it right now. Uh, that drilling hammer is one that's got two flat faces, ain't it? I believe so. Yeah, that's one I like the best. Sure enough. Yeah. Yeah. 129 bucks. Is that what it was? 150. 150. Saves, still, saves 50 bucks, more or less. Still good. Mm hmm. You don't hardly break a handle out of one of them right there. And you've got some of the Anna vibes, mm -hmm. haven't you? They're tough. They're, they're nice. I like them because they don't have that. When you're hitting something solid steel with them, they don't come all the way back into your elbow that with it. Ting, it runs all the way through your shoulder and everything, so it's nice. So. Definitely nice. Well, we got a lot of more, lot more stuff coming though. It, uh, I got some of the new Dewalt ratchets coming, and the battery ratchets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw them until the show. They're gonna to be them. nice. They do something different design to them that's different than everybody else's or? Not really. Um, they are going to be 12 volt. A lot of people thought that when they f first started releasing that they were going to be 20 volt. They are going to be 12 volt. Okay. Um, it will, uh, it's going to have some longer reach to it than just the regular Mac ratchet and they're pretty nice. Cool. The battery go on the side, sort of like the some of the brands or does it I think it's across the bottom. the bottom okay no it's in from the bottom yep cool so a lot of your guys that have already bought the 12 volt dewalt 3 8 impact mm -hmm. and all that that every, that that impact that everybody's loving yeah, or the new little 12 little volt brushless there, stuff man. that they'll already have all the batteries to just pick them up a bare tool ratchet little dewalt's a lot man that's what i like about mm -hmm. it and it's stout too Yep. Cool deal. So. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get off here. I got a couple of things I need to check on and a couple of stuff to buy. So, like always, thanks for hanging out with us on this Thursday at St. Patrick's Day. Michael's in the spirit and I got my hat on. So, everybody needs to drink at least one cold beer today. We even got green donuts this morning. Green donuts? <laughs> That's funny right there. <sighs> All right, guys, y'all have a great one. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great one. See ya.